So, Tabassum, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. I wanted to uh, initially get your thoughts on, it was announced just today that terrorism charges are going to be laid against the suspect in the London attack. And the last time we spoke about this, that was what your call was for. So, uh, first off, how do you feel about uh, these charges that are going to be laid? I think it's the right step. Uh, I think it's the right uh, the right charges to be laid. He's a terrorist, um, and I'm proud of our justice system for uh, putting these charges on a terrorist. What does this mean then, in terms of uh, you know moving forward? We have this one act. So, can you tell us the bigger picture? This is the beginning then for what you've been calling for in this fight against Islamophobia. Yeah, of course. So we'd like to see all levels of government come together and take action against Islamophobia, anti-Islam rhetoric. And the National Council of Canadian Muslims has put together or uh, called for an emergency uh, summit on Islamophobia and the federal government has um, approved that. Uh, So that will be happening I believe uh, by the end of July, I think our MP would be the best person to speak to about that. Um, But I think it's a really great step in the right direction uh, to combat Islamophobia, uh, where all levels of government come together um, and learn. And and it's a good opportunity for the Muslim community to really uh, take this time to reflect and um, determine which policies we'd like to see changed. And I think community input, like an organization like the Muslim Advisory Council of Canada, we have a lot of advice, so we want our voices heard in this summit. You talk about um, all levels of government coming together, and it seems like, you know, this goes into the, easily flows into the next step. We had a a vigil over the weekend in Milton at Victoria Park, and we did see um, many of our levels of government, including, you know, our Milton councillors were there, our MPP was there. Talk about what that vigil um, meant to you and, and the turnout and seeing all that support and people coming together to commemorate. Yeah, the vigil we had in Milton just happened this past Saturday, and it was a community-led event. Um, A few, I would say a handful of community members came together and put that event together in 48 hours. So I'm really proud of them. But it was also amazing and really heartfelt to see the support from the community, um, how they came out and they showed their solidarity with us. And um, it was it was lovely. I feel very supported. I, I feel the Canadian Muslim community in Milton feels very supported right now. And I, I just want to give my heartfelt thanks and appreciation and gratitude to all levels of government that showed up, uh, the MPP, the MP and the town councillors. Um, and now we want action. Now we like to see action from them. And we're working on uh, our end to put forth our recommendations. I mean, I guess just in closing, I mean, this is what do you want to happen we don't want a sense of, I'm, I'm assuming that okay so a tragedy happened and all of a sudden this push we want the conversation to continue beyond that so tragedies like this don't happen happen again right yeah of course i think um i think the national council of canadian muslims well i know they're going to lead the summit and i'm waiting for direction from them to be honest because they've been wonderful uh in leading this and but i'll give you my input I'd like to see stricter laws and policies regarding online hate. I'd like to see changes in the education system where a student doesn't get called a terrorist in passing um, by his classmates. I think that is absolutely horrendous. And that's what I've heard has happened at the Halton District School Board, which actually pushed me to get on the Human Rights and Equity Advisory Committee of Halton District School Board. Um, Because I remember when I was in grade nine, I was walking to school and it was actually, it was my first day of school. And two white boys rolled down their windows and they called me a terrorist. And at that time I didn't wear my hijab. And I think hearing from students now in school, I would say about 15 years, wow, I'm really aging myself, 15 years later, that they're still being called terrorist. I don't think that's acceptable. And I'd like to see changes all across the board at every level of government.